<laughs> okay, shall we try to pull this apart? Uh, 404 kilometers, what do you think? <coughs> Yes. yes, thumbs up, okay. So how do we, the big question of course is how do we get 404 kilometers? Where does this number emerge from? Can someone give me an idea of what line of working you might do, Colin? You divide 38 oh. by 9.4. Okay, if you do 38 divided by 9.4. Just before I um, get to the, well, okay, I'll, I'll write times 100. Why, why am I writing, like why am I dividing by 9.4 in the first place? What is that actually doing? It's Okay, so you're actually, kind of what this is doing, is taking this guy and using, do you remember it has a name? The unitary method, okay? <coughs> Dividing by 9.4 turns this into a rate, not about 9.4 liters, but about one liter, okay? So it would turn into this. Um, divide both of those by 9.4, that gives you one liter on the left, when you divide that through, and then you get whatever this number happens to be on the right hand side, okay? Okay, so, <laughs> wait, really? Are you sure? 10.6. No, oh, no, not yeah. the. No, you mean, yeah, yeah, you're, you're doing a different step. So, uh, you're doing this step over here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, what I've done is I've converted the rate, but you can see I actually don't have one litre in my car, thank goodness. I have 38 litres, right? So, then what do I do yeah. next? From this line. Just like I divided both sides by 9.4, I'm going to multiply both sides by 38. Do you see that? So, that'll make that 38 litres. That'll make this 38 times 100 on 9.4. But look at that. Can you look at that for a second? Isn't that exactly what you told me to do? Just arranged a little bit differently, right? Yes. There's the same division by 9.4. There's the same multiplication by 100. It's the same deal, okay? Which is why, um, dig. Okay. Um, all right, what do we think of this one? <laughs> yeah? No? Yeah? I think that's right. Yes, it's right. Hmm. So... <laughs> Does it sound like a reasonable number? Is my question. It's my yes. first question. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. no. I don't know. Maybe. Kilometers per liter. Okay. Kilometers per liter. What this means is, if you've got one liter of fuel in your car, how many kilometers can you go? Right. Hmm. Just think about this for a second. Look, look at these numbers for a second. Part of why our intuition is kind of struggling here is because these numbers are kind of weird and awkward. One of the great strategies you can always use is approximate numbers and see if something is like at least in the ballpark. So 9.4, give me a round number that's nice and easy to work with that's close to 9.4. 9.4? I'm just going to go for 10. I mean, I could go for 9. 9 is closer, but I just want an approximation. So suppose it says 10 litres for 100 kilometres, okay? So that means on my 100 kilometre journey, right, I've used up 10 litres of fuel. So every kilometre, how many, or sorry, rather, every litre, how much does one litre of fuel get me if it go 100 kilometres and I'm using 10 litres there? One. Every litre is getting me 10 kilometres. Does that make sense? Let me draw out the journey for you. Um, let's see here. Halfway. One, two, three, four. Here are my 100 kilometres. Right, my 100 kilometres. Uh, from zero kilometres and I end over here. Okay. The first 10 kilometers, I use up a liter of fuel. And then the next 10 kilometers, I use up a liter of fuel. And I keep doing it. Bec oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Once I've done all of them, that adds up to 10 liters. Does that make sense? So this is my mythical 10 liters for 100 kilometers. So therefore, um, what is my kilometers per liter? It's 10 kilometers every single time. Does that make sense? Is this about right. Uh, How do I convert this? What do I do? Yeah, no, no, yes. Okay, so we're, we're kind of close. Part of the issue is um, this number I should point out, sorry, this expression is correct. Where did it come from? Where did I get it from? I'm not saying it's the answer, I'm just saying it's correct. Very good. Okay, so she has taken both of the numbers here. Right? Remember how I divided both numbers by 9.4? She's divided both numbers by 100. Okay? So getting from, I'll use a new color now, because I need to Getting from this to Eliza's thing, we've divided both sides by 100. So what I've got here is not incorrect. It's correct. But it's not the answer. It's not the answer. I haven't answered the question. Because look at what it's saying. It's, yeah, it's kilometers per liter. 
not leaders per kilometer. So can someone suggest to me what we're going to do instead? Yeah. 400 and 400 divided by 38. Divided by 38. Okay, now let's just think about this, right? Will this work? Well, we all agreed that this answer was right. Thumbs up. Okay. So a way to get kilometers per liter is to divide a number of kilometers by however many liters it took you, which according to this question was 38. Okay. So this is fine. I will in fact get, what was it, 10.6? 10.6 10. 10. 10. 10. liters. Okay, now that's fine. I could have done it a more direct way had I not have question one. Did you do like divide both sides by 1.4? Okay, so if so I take... I did, I got the same number. Yeah, okay, so what you've done is this, right? So this is my very first line, yeah? Now remember I said, oh, it's 100 divided by 9.4, whatever that happens to be. What that happens to be is about 10.6, okay? So look at what then emerges out of this line. One liter per 10.6, sorry. Did you get the right? Yeah, one liter per 10.6 kilometers. Okay? Do you see that rate? What, what is a rate? It's just comparing two things that are changing in comparison to each other, right? So therefore, if it takes me one liter to go 10.6 kilometers, I can just as easily say I can go 10.6 kilometers for every one liter. Right? Does that make sense? Um, I'm just comparing these two amounts. Like I can say, okay, for, um, for 25 people in a room, there are 50 eyes. Well, if there are 50 eyes in the room, hopefully, um, there are going to be 25 people as well. Right? Does that make sense? So if I'm comparing these two things, I can change the order. That's fine. And so that's the way that I would do that. Okay, um, do we agree with number three? Do we agree with it? Yeah, what's he done? What's he done? <laughs> Gary's all right. Gary, we trust, okay? He has, he's actually written most of what he's done, right? Times both sides by four. Multiply both sides by four. Okay. Um, which leaves you with this line here, yeah, right? Then he has added two to both sides. Why did he add two? Because he's trying to get rid of that thing, right? Um, which leaves him with this line, and then he has divided, divided by three. three. Why did he do that? To get rid of the three. Because he's trying to get rid of that, and then he's done. Okay, just watch it. Yeah, done. Well done. See, Gary's 